So when you're speaking to a group, any tips or tricks on how to change or pivot your message based on your audience? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, and I think Dyson is asking this more on another conversation we had, but uh, kind of like you, you, it's very hard when you are kind of like giving a presentation to change the topic a lot, but you can see how people are reacting. And something that I like about Twitch is that you can see kind of like the chat moving and you can like start seeing what kind of like content is the one that is making the most impact within within the, the viewers or your audience. Um, but generally speaking, what I do, I like to take some time to, um, or something that I, I've improved is when I, I'm asked to do a talk, I like to get some information about the audience. Like how many people do you expect? It's not the same thing giving a talk to 10 people that someone like to a, a thousand people. It's not the same doing a talk on Twitch than in person. Uh, so it's kind of like getting to know the audience and how you're going to be giving the talk or who, who's your audience. Mm -hmm. So uh, that I can like tailor it. I have to say, I'm, I've been cheating a lot lately and uh, I have kind of like one master presentation and I just modified certain parts to fit better within the audience. Um, I, I feel bad about it, but uh, to be honest, it's like great content and it's something that I know a lot of people would find valuable. So just making small tweaks to it to make it more, um, so people can resonate more with the content that, that you're giving. Um, I, like, I love talking about education as a Lego. And if you are a Microsoft student partner, you probably uh, saw that presentation uh, on the summit. And it's just like, that is kind of like, find find your core presentation and then start tailoring it to different audiences. And then mm. you can also start creating more content on top of that. So uh, you start specializing yourself in one kind of talk. And then if you want to stop, you can just start from, from scrap to through another, another piece of content or another topic. Great. And, and I would agree to that, like, because I'm interacting with a lot of different folks in a lot of different countries from time to time. What I do is I have like a similar script or something that I normally used to talk about uh, when I am actually giving them a particular talk and I modify it according to what they are saying at that point, right? Uh, what they're interested in or what they're lacking in uh, that. Like I just try to bend it over in that direction. And that actually is my way of speaking yeah. to different audiences as well. I just wanted to point out, uh, Sierra's comment is very true. Taking feedback is important as well for next time and coming back improved. That's, I completely okay. agree with that. Uh, unfortunately, it's very, not, not a lot of conferences will send like, hey, what did you think about Wampus talk? What can he improve? <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's kind of like you reach out to some audience members and be like, hey, mm -hmm. what do you like? What would you like mm -hmm. to see next time? Exactly. That's the thing.